Hello and welcome to the BVB update for August 31st. I'm Stefan Butzko and in this format I cover Borussia Dortmund news and other shenanigans. And of course I'm once again starting with Manuel Akanji because as you can see here, his transfer to Manchester City is all but done. Andreas Burni from the Swiss newspaper Blick reported today that Akanji has indeed passed his medical and the announcement is supposed to happen tomorrow around noon. And uh, also it is reported that Dortmund will receive almost 18 million euros for Akanji and could also earn 2 million euros in bonuses. And with that we can move on to the news conference that was held today ahead of Friday's match against TSG Hoffenheim. And sadly Eden Terzic had some really devastating news. Not only is Sebastian Alea out for the long term as we all know but also Matteo Morey will be out for several months. And uh, Terzic today said quote Matteo had to undergo knee surgery yesterday but not on the knee that he injured last year but the left knee where he already had surgery on before joining Borussia Dortmund. It's his lateral meniscus where liquid kept gathering in that area so a decision was made last week that another surgery was necessary. This is incredibly painful for us because Matteo showed incredible spirit over the past 15 months so such a setback is now very hard to swallow. However, he is showing the fighting spirit again. And also Testic said that the match against TSG Hoffenheim will come too soon for Daniel Malen. However, there is a hope that he will be available against Copenhagen. And there are also three players that are on the doubtful list. And that starts with Moda Hood, who is still feeling some pain in the shoulder, but will be back on the training ground. And today Dortmund will reassess if he can play also, Karim Adiemi felt his toe after the match against Hertha Berlin. He trained individually this week, but Dortmund expect him on the training ground today. And lastly, Tasic said that Gio Reyna was unavailable last week, but he was on the training ground since Sunday and in full team training this entire week and left a good impression in the last two days. So Dortmund are optimistic that he's available this Friday. And then Tasic also talked about Sebastian Allaire after his appearance yesterday, which you of course could see at the B4B update so if you haven't uh, please check it out because uh, it's very emotional and uh, yeah Tessic said quote he is very optimistic and he's in good spirits every time I talk to him he tells me and signals me how much he wants to return to the team as quickly as possible it's encouraging to see during such a difficult period and if you see his appearance yesterday it just shows what is important in life how important it is to be healthy and to be surrounded by a loving family. Sadly, he can't be with us at the moment, but hopefully soon again. And then he also had a couple of other quotes, uh, for example, about having an oversized squad. <laughs> and there he said, I didn't expect this question because everyone remembers the injuries we had to deal with last season. And all of a sudden it felt like the squad was far too small. Now the intense week starts, we will play almost thrice a week from now on until the start of the World Cup and the international break won't be a break for most of our players either. This intensity will result in injuries because there's very little time for training and recuperation. Hence, we're very happy to have a lot of options. And about Friday's opponent Hoffenheim, he said, they are very flexible in their attack. They try to pull their position apart and change their positions very consistently. It will be a tricky task for us against a very good opponent. However, we showed against Hertha that we can play better than we did against Bremen. We want to find consistency now and win our next home match. And lastly, he was asked about Tom Rote and Prince Anning, who are of course Rafael Guerrero's backups right now, but both still very young. And there he said, I would play both Tom Rote and Prince Anning without hesitation. They are backups that you can rely on. Tom Rote already played some Bundesliga minutes last season and Prince Anning is new here, still finding his feet at the under 23. They are both the same age but different in profile. If you look at Tom, you could see him also play as a left center half in the back three. Prince Anning could also play on the wing, but both have their strengths on offense and on defense. So the injury news about Matteo Moré is obviously devastating and I just hope that he returns very soon. But at the same time, I don't think it's the end of the world for Dortmund on the right back position. I think they have decent options. However, I do also think that uh, Sebastian Kehl needs to address the right and left back position if we're honest uh, probably next summer by the very latest I'm sure that nothing will happen in this transfer window and I'm not entirely <laughs> confident something would happen during the winter break however um, you know the options that are still around are of course uh, Wolf and Meunier but you also still have Felix Paslak around Emre Can can play in that position even though uh, not my favorite option and of course uh, if at 100% fitness you can play Niklas Zule there because uh, he has played that position 
somewhat okay for FC Bayern in the past. So, um, you know, if need be, you at least have a couple of, of options, but obviously nothing is ideal. And I think on paper, Matteo Morey is going to be the favorite right back for Ian Tessic because we saw that during his first stint at Borussia Dortmund. But yeah, that is all from me for this week. So uh, as always, thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Please leave a like and subscribe just <laughs> to boost this channel a little bit more. And I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.